Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, I'm going to try out the Battlestar Galactica Pegasus, Battlestar Pegasus, versus um, the Daedalus from Stargate SG-1. Now this is before the Ori upgrades. I want to try and make this as balanced as possible. In terms of ordnance, what they fire, I think these ships are going to be quite similar. So it's going to be interesting. This. Of course, the um, Daedalus has the advantage of Asgard shielding, which might make the difference. But the Pegasus is a lot bigger, has a stronger hull. So here we go. Okay. Wow, that is a big ship. Makes the Daedalus look tiny. Because we're 50 kilometers away from that now. The um, Asgard shielding's doing its job. Just got the rail guns and the um, Mark 8 tactical nukes. Okay, so the closer I'm getting, the more I'm getting pummeled here, so. Powerful those nukes are. It is actually possible to outmaneuver uh, the weapons from the Pegasus. 50 kilometers seems to be the um, trick with that, really. Oops. I'm very impressed with the Asgard shielding, though. It's doing a good job. Trying to get into the weapons arc. The rail guns aren't really doing much to be honest, it's all down to the nukes here. Did you hear that then? Safi just said finally, and that's when the uh, nukes reloaded. Now it looks like there's some nukes actually on top of a Daedalus, but I don't know how to fire them. It must be a weird firing arc. Oh, I think the Pegasus is in trouble here. Nuke should finish the job. They're What's this? Unknown ship. Sir. Oh, Viper. We gotta take care of the Viper. That's it. Oh, got him. it took care of itself. Right, let's try that the other way around. Red alert, shields up. Our shields have failed. Don't worry, Brex, there are no shields. Okay, let's see what happens now. But I'm assuming they're nukes. Oh, we're getting through the shielding here. Oh! Whoa! That's okay. It. We got him. Well, just based on raw firepower, I've got to give that to the Pegasus. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.